What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day or a fantastic week or fantastic month, whatever the case might be. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to get 100% win rate when taking trade signals. Now, this is gonna be a little bit of a controversial video just for the fact that not everybody takes trade signals from other people. And if you don't, then that's completely fine. You could just exit out of this video. Or if you guys wanna see how you could execute or how you could profit from taking trade signals, then this is the video for you. Now, first things first, <clears throat> you wanna make sure that whoever you're taking trade signals from, whether it's me or any other influencer or creator or trader, whatever the case might be, you know, they're reputable, right? Make sure that they, they actually do live trading, right? Make sure that they have results to back it. They have testimonials, you know, so on and so forth. You don't wanna just click on or pay the first person you see on the internet because essentially that's not how it works. A lot of people in this industry that are just faking everything they do and they just want your money, right? That's how they end up making money rather than trading themselves. Now, besides that, you wanna also make sure that you know how to trade first before you take trade signals. And I know the main reason a lot of people take trade signals is because they don't know how to trade too well and they wanna use their trade ideas or just their trades altogether to profit from. Now, that's okay, but I personally don't recommend that and I don't ever allow anybody into my signals group without making sure they are you know, able to trade on their own or they at least understand the basics of trading because if you don't understand the basics of trading and how to manage a trade or even reason behind getting into a trade, then you shouldn't be taking that trade at all, no matter who's sending that signal, right? You never just wanna blindly trust anybody and just take a trade just because they sense it out. All right, now that's a big red flag if someone just says, yeah, just take my trades and, and it'll be perfect and you make money off of it. You might make some money, but the truth is if you don't know how to manage that trade, which is the most important part of the trade, you won't make money, right? Because you'll probably hit your stop loss or you probably won't move your stop loss in profit or break even or you won't, pro um, you won't potentially take your, your profits where you should rather than holding them. So, make sure you know how to trade before you actually take any trade signals. This is gonna help you a lot. Now, another thing that you wanna do to have 100% success rate when taking trade signals is make sure you do your TA as well. Make sure that your trading strategy actually lines up with the reason you take that trade. The only way I would allow, or not allow, but you know, say it's okay for you to take trade signals is if you're just using them as trading ideas, right? Sometimes maybe you're not the person that likes to be on the chart all day, but you do understand the fundamentals of trading and you have a pretty decent foundation of trading strategies and you know how to manage trades and you have some experience trading yourself, then, hey, you know what? If you don't have the time or you don't wanna be looking at the TAs all day, then yeah, pay for some trade signals, use them as trade ideas, not signals, use them as trade ideas for you to actually look into the chart yourself and implement it. Basically just think about it as a buy or sell signal. Right, if you think the market's gonna go for a sell and someone's like, hey, look, sell, 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 go take a look at the market, see what the market's actually doing and make sure it lines up with all your other technicals or your trading strategy and then execute that trade, right? Because now you have so much confirmation, right? Not only do you have the confirmation from the person that sent you that trade signal, but you also have the best confirmation you could have, which is yourself. And the most important part of all of this is having confidence in yourself and knowing when you should be taking that trade. You don't wanna ever just blindly trust anyone. Now, another thing is, which I also touched on already, which was managing the trade, right? Sometimes these people might not tell everybody, hey, look, move your stop loss up. Um, TP1 will be this, TP2 will be this. Some people just leave a regular TP overall, which is perfectly fine because at the end of the day, you wanna be taking these signals as trade ideas and not signals themselves. Now, this is gonna save you a lot of money and a lot of time with you being frustrated for paying a service that isn't working perfectly for you. But in all reality, trading signals should just be used as trading ideas, not actual trades themselves. Now, they can become into trades themselves when you do your due diligence behind that and make sure that it lines up and it has a good reason, right? Because the last thing you wanna do is get into a trade and then you know, see you hit your stop loss and then you go check your phone or go check the, the charts and you're like, hey, this trade kind of sucked, right? Like, I don't know what the what this guy was looking at. There's nothing there. So that those couple tips right there are gonna save you a lot of money and it's gonna boost your win rate by a lot. And also another thing that people are scared to admit is, hey, not everybody's perfect, right? Sometimes the trade signal might not be a good trade. Maybe that trader is just having an off day or whatever the case might be, but that's why it's your job to make sure you go in and do your due diligence and check the analysis yourself and double check the work. That way you're like, hey, look, if that trade does not make sense for you, don't take it. Honestly, do not take it no matter what the person is or who the person is, because at the end of the day, if you're if it's not sitting right with you, which is a person that it's gonna affect it directly, is 
you want to make sure that you don't take it, right? Because now you're exposing your capital for no reason. You're uncomfortable about the whole entire trade itself. And it's just not good. And it's not going to be a good feeling for you to do, especially if you lose that trade, because now you're going to be guilty. And you're like, hey, look, I don't even know why I took it to begin with, because I said I didn't like the trade and it didn't make sense for me. And that's OK. Have confidence in yourself. Sometimes these trading signals might help you build up the confidence because you might see the same thing that these traders see, whoever's sending a signal, whether it's anybody, doesn't matter who it is. Now, this is a great tool as well. I'm going to touch on some of the positives of it is you're going to realize that usually a lot of people tend to send the same trade signal just because they see the same opportunity. Now, not everybody trades the same, but usually all the big trades, you're going to see a lot of the big traders in the industry take the same just because they're seeing the same thing. <clears throat> and that's just a lot of confluences that are lining up all across the board. I hope you guys take all these tips into account and it helps you guys make some money or know whether you want to actually take trade signals or not trade signals. I don't really care whether anybody buys my personal stuff. I just want you guys to be informed and know how you guys should properly execute these probably blah, properly execute on these signals themselves, right? Because there's no point if you guys aren't making money, it's not really worth you guys paying for any of these services, whether it's me or anybody else in the industry. And that's just some two cents and the truth behind it all. Hey guys, sorry for interrupting your video, but I just wanted to let you guys know if you guys check the link in the description, I do have a private little link right there for you guys to have direct access to me through Telegram. It's not a bot. It's not some computerized assistant or anything. It's my personal Telegram link to where you can send me messages on any questions you guys have or other topics you guys want to talk about. And I'll be more than happy to respond to you guys. I'll try to respond to as many as you as possible. If I don't respond at the same time, just give me a couple minutes or an hour and I'll get to you accordingly now also in the link in the description i do have all the free telegram the signals chat i do have the website where i offer all the services and i also have a direct link to the free forex and stock market coursework as well as crypto coursework hope you guys enjoyed the video have a great rest of your week a great rest of your month whatever the case may be hope everyone's doing well and i'll see you guys in another video